Hey everyone, I am back from Vancouver and today is another van build. So here we go. So today we are dealing with the back door and the side doors. So right now those are still original and un insulated that's the word I'm looking for so to get this off you simply just start pulling I started here I started pulling it off and then these are really the only things holding it in and they're simple star bolts which you can uh, if you bought this set or a set like it to get at the seat belts the right one will be in there Okay, so here's what we kind of got. There's a lot of space for insulation here we can kind of work with. Uh, it looks like some dust is kind of getting through there, which is the connector to there. So a little bit of dust is kicking up. Yeah, it looks like this seal is either intentionally open here or broken. Not too sure, but either way, we can fill that up and maybe close off and seal that a little bit better from the other side. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these gaps then we're going to try to do a layer of maybe just reflectix around so that there's no metal sticking out because what happens when you have uh, metal is this you have a lot of condensation so if you can cover your metal with reflectix it helps a lot so i took the first door off by myself without filming to see how i could do it and i'll show you some things it was really not easy but i'll show you some things so this is really the last this handle is really the only thing really making it difficult. And you have to take this little pin off right here uh, to take that handle off. But because of the way the door is, you can see over here, it actually goes real close and flush. So you can't get anything in there to get that pin out. So what I actually had to do was, this is the where the door handle goes through, right here. I had to actually cut down using wire cutters because it's all I had. But it worked, but it just took a long time. And then you're left with this, this thing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually wash this all up because it's, it's dirty. And then uh, this is the locking mechanism. So you have to make sure to keep that, um, keep that up and don't cover it. Um, I'm gonna actually put something on there to make it kind of look nice. Uh, some spray foam that I put in there that really didn't do anything obviously. Um, but there's nice big pockets here that I can fill up with foam and Reflectix over top. It's gonna be sweet! Unfortunately, it's the same situation here. So, uh, as you can see, it makes more sense to go from here because it's a shorter distance than going all the way down here to get at that, like I did last time. Wasn't really thinking all the way through, but now it's not that bad. I got it. The electric door made it a little bit harder, but uh, just wiggle, open, stop it in the middle, try to just wiggle it off, pop each one of these little things. It's just these little simple locking mechanisms right here. Um, and with enough pressure, they just pull right out. I want to use all of this leftover uh, foam board, but if you were to actually do this properly, it would be best to spray foam it or to actually get um, fiberglass insulation or something like that that you can really stuff in there and and then uh, put a seal over top of it but i'm working with what i have and this is what i got so while i have all your guys's attentions because obviously this is riveting and you're all sticking it out till the end i'm sure um, i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm looking for graphic designers uh, merch is a really big thing when you're trying to make YouTube your full-time gig uh, permanently and, and trying to increase your your income and all that kind of stuff. And I want to do it a little bit differently. I kind of want to crowdsource my designs because I've never been good at drawing or coming up with ideas of what to draw even. You know, so even if I tell a, a good graphic designer what to do, and they do it exactly how I want it, it's not necessarily going to be the best design. So. 
I want to reach out to you guys if you know any graphic designers or if you are a graphic designer and want to do just like a rough draft of a sketch or a painting or you know illustration of some kind and uh, just do that on spec and send it to me we can work out the details but uh, it'll either be a flat fee or an ongoing percentage of of the income off the sales so we can kind of so we can kind of work together and create more of like a collective kind of feel and cooperative feel as opposed to just going and finding somebody and telling them what i want um i want a little bit more uh input from the artist exactly so yeah i'm gonna start doing merch in a big way um on my main channel there's like uh teespring is Teespring is now collaborating with YouTube um, and what that means is that underneath my videos on my main channel there's actually pictures of my merchandise on Teespring and since they've been doing that I've been selling a lot more so it's been really good. That's it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for joining me and on the next episode I will be finishing the spray foam, the Reflectix, all the other insulation properties that need to go into finishing this build. Right now a playlist of all the other videos I've done about this minivan build is popping up and I just wanted to remind you guys that there's a link in the description that will actually get you a free ebook of how I built this, what it cost me, the exact dimensions, and the exact quantity of things that you will need to do the same. So go ahead and uh, sign up below and you will be emailed an ebook when it is made.